Hello everyone. Um, before we start the video, uh, we just wanted to say a massive thank you to our Patreons um, or Patrons. Uh, you guys and gals um, are supporting this channel in a, in a massive way and we can't thank you enough. But more specifically, uh, we wanted to give a big shout out to our Patron, Brian Dull. Uh, he's supported us in a massive way uh, this month and we kind of wanted to return the favour. Brian has a new horror book uh, that has just been released called Small Hearts and it's got a kind of paranormal type of vibe to it um, and we thought we would just advertise it to you guys watching uh, because you're all horror fans and I'm sure you would probably enjoy this type of thing. The front cover alone looks terrifying and, it's e and the book's even won uh, some awards so it's pretty much guaranteed to freak you out. We've ordered a copy of the book uh, ourselves and we will be reading it uh, but if I'm honest Brian you watching uh, this video now uh, I've only uh, actually read uh, Stephen King horror books so I've, I've read it and I've read The Mist and a bunch of his uh, short uh, stories as well so you've got a lot to live up to but if the synopsis is anything to go by and the fact that it's won so many awards uh, I, I can I can see that it's gonna be an awesome read. So if anyone wants to check it out, uh, check out the uh, uh, link in the description. Uh, that leads you to Brian's website. And we've also got a link, uh, an Amazon link to where you can actually buy uh, the book itself. <laughs> <laughs> it's got some great reviews as well. I was looking at these reviews and I was, there was someone on there that, like, that said like, this book has affected, I've never been as affected by the characters in a book as much as this really? one book. With, like, Have you seen stars. the front cover of the book though? Like With all the eyes scratched eyes out. It looks yeah, freaky It reminds me of a book called like The Chil Children of the Corn, I think the Stephen King one with the, oh, kids, yeah, the yeah. one with the kids with the glowing eyes. Yeah, That's yeah. what the front cover reminds me of. Like I said before, the link to the, uh, uh, the Amazon link is in the description below. Um, this, this YouTube channel is, uh, you know, about horror, uh, it's about movies in general, it's about supporting creators. I love the idea of positivity as well. Yeah. Helping each other out. No, exactly. And yeah. Supporting each other. And you guys are all horror fans. Uh, all we can ask you to do is, you know, show Brian some love, uh, click the link and just check it out. Um, uh, yeah, but without further ado, um, we hope you enjoy our reaction to The Shining. So, we've come to the right. end of our long 10 film journey of <laughs> horror classics. <laughs> and yeah, we've yeah. got to have a good one to finish it off because else it would just be a complete anti climax. Waste. Yeah, anti climax. Uh, that's right, nice. I say finish it off until we watch the next 10. We want to end on a high. Uh, you haven't seen this film, I have. Uh, it's in the 80s. I'm, I'm thinking. 80s? 90s. I think it's 1980. I already know what score I'm giving this film because I just love it so much. This is just going to be solidifying my rating. I hope this one we differ loads on. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see well, because it's a, it? because the film is a, it's got talking points to it. It's got talking points to it. So the film that we're going to be watching tonight today is The Shining. Ah, oh, <laughs> oh God! You haven't seen it. Have I you? don't know why I haven't seen it. It's a Stephen King classic. Yeah, it is in fact his most. Probably most well-known book apart from is, Carrie, I would say. Or It. Yeah. Um, but Stephen King hated this movie. Did he? Absolutely hated it. It it doesn't did not represent the book itself. I haven't well, read the I've book. I've heard that Stanley Kubrick... It is Stanley Kubrick, mm -hmm. isn't it? Mm -hmm. I've heard he does what he wants quite a bit because I think yeah. Clockwork Orange, he changed quite a bit as well. St Stanley Kubrick is like, is like one of the best directors that have ever lived. He actually is so bespoke in how he does things. He actually he actually invented a set of lenses to film his films and he would only use these lenses to to uh to film his his films. So obviously I've seen um Ready Player One where Steven Spielberg like sort of pays homage to, oh, the, okay, to yeah. the film. So I've got a little bit of awareness of it. I know certain tropes like I know the the twins in the corridor. Yeah. And he's on his little tricycle. I know the red room murder thing. Do you know what it's about? I know knocking down the door. I think it's just about a guy that gradually starts going insane because there's some sort of supernatural. I mean, usually Stephen King's plots are really unsettling in some way or in some form. There's some yeah. real like, weird, unnerving stuff going on. Yeah. 
Um, I hope I like it because I don't want to watch. <laughs> I don't want to watch The Shining and say I didn't like it after seeing it. I th I think the reason why we haven't seen these high profile uh, films, especially you with The Shining, is that it is so hyped up that you're just like you're almost unconsciously thinking, no, I, it's shit. Yeah, yeah. You're you know almost, what I mean? Or you're almost unconsciously thinking you've seen the film. Yeah, because you know I mean? you've, so seen like you've seen bits of it, people talk, time, yeah. You know, everything references the act scene, right? Mm. Like from The Simpsons to yeah. something else. <laughs> everything's, everything's seen it. This film has got one of my favourite acted scenes in, a, in any movie. There's one movie uh, uh, called Shutter Island with Leonardo DiCaprio has, 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 a, has a really good acting scene that I love in it. This scene has got another one of those scenes where I'm just like, this is so... Good. <laughs> oh man, the shiny. But so it's come to this. Yes. My question about this film is: is it even a horror, or is it? I mean, is it a horror like what we've seen, or is it more of a uh, more of a thriller or something? I would say it's more of a psychological horror. Potentially, I can't. To be honest with you, I remember bits of it. I can't remember what order they all happen in. It's been a while. It's very weird. It's definitely weird. Cinematography, though. Look at that landscape. It's, a, it's insane. It's a good sweeping shot, isn't it? Like, yeah. Jack, just make yourself at home. Would you like some coffee? Well, if you're gonna have some, I wouldn't mind. Thanks. There's hardly anybody to play with around here. Yeah, I know. It always takes a little time to make new friends. That's actually you and McGregor as a kid as well. So. No, it's not. Don't bother, Mrs. Dorrance. Well, how come you don't want to go? I just don't. I wouldn't let my kid do that. <laughs> I'm outlining a new writing project, and uh, five months of peace is just what I want. Five months they're in there for. Because, uh, so he's looking after them. I'd love that. Five months, chilling. Yeah, that's what Jack Nicholson said. <laughs> Anything in Denver about the tragedy we had up here during the winter of 1970? I don't believe they did. During the winter, he must have suffered some kind of a complete mental breakdown. Killed his family with an axe. Stacked them neatly in one of the rooms of the West Wing, and uh, then he uh, he put uh, both barrels of a shotgun in his mouth. He doesn't seem surprised. He already did. Who's he talking to? Tony. Is that yeah. finger? I love that shot. The editing, man, is just haunting and eerie. Well, I've got a few questions. Who were the girls? Yeah. What the hell was the blood? What's wrong with the hotel? What's wrong? Why well, is it something supernatural? Oh, yeah, okay. Why is he? Is he possessed like the exorcist? <laughs> Wasn't it around here that the Donner Party got snowbound? I think that was farther west in the Sierras. The way he's acting is almost like he knows something's he knows going to happen. Going to happen, like maybe he's planned like this. A, or like a sense of impending doom or something. Yeah, but not worrying about it. It's like yeah. he's, he's determined or ready for, ready for something. Oh, that's I don't, weird, I, yeah, I don't understand. I've never noticed that before, but... Oh man, I get real, get real nervous feeling about this. I don't know why. <laughs> Just the music. You know what I'm reminded of at the moment? What? Midsummer, a little bit. With really? the music and the, yeah. the shots of the setting. Give yeah. you that sense of something's going to happen, but oh, okay. nothing has happened. Yeah, yeah. That unnerving feeling. Yeah.
that initial pan sh- uh, zoom, zoom shot yeah. was uh, unnerving, wasn't it? Yeah. When was the Overlook built? Uh, construction started in 1907. It's finished in 1909. The site is supposed to be located on an Indian burial ground, and I believe they actually had to repel a few... Indi- That's always good, isn't it? <laughs> We've learned from the poltergeist that that's not a good idea. You took the twelve stars, but you didn't take the bodies. <laughs> I'd do like some ice cream, Doc. The sociables, bangle rolls, and seven guys bangle rolls, and seven guys what happened. Now we got dried pizzas. What do you think that's about? I've got no idea. No idea. I can remember when I was a little boy. My grandmother and I could hold conversations entirely without ever opening our mouths. She called it shiny. Oh, here we go. I think a lot of things happened right here in this particular hotel over the years. And not all of them was good. What about room 237? Room 237? There ain't nothing in room 237. But you ain't got no business going in there anyway. So stay out. What's in room 237? I don't know, mate. (laughs) The carpet in this movie as well, the upstairs, like, corridor carpet, is uh, in Toy Story, in um, the the next-door neighbours. Oh um, yeah, that's a good yeah that's a reference. Good. This is cool shot following. I like that shot. Yeah. No! Yeah. Oh Jesus! <laughs> it's tense, man, going through this maze. <laughs> This, what he's trying to do it, it's like he's almost creating that, because of all the cuts and all the time jump, he's almost creating that um, claustrophobic cabin fever type feel himself yeah. with the maze and with these corridor shots yeah. and everywhere looking the same. It's yeah. creating that sort of feel. Is this the carpet? Yeah, this is the carpet in the Get a lot written today? Yes. He's already sick of her. Hey. Weather forecast said it's going to snow tonight. What do you want me to do about it? What a dick. It's an odd frame in the... She's straight on in the middle. In here, and she's looking off to the side. Whether you don't hear me typing, what the fuck you hear me doing in here when I'm in here, that means that I am working. That means don't come in. How do you think you can handle that? What the hell? That escalated like mad. I mean, he has been there for a month. Yeah, but... The like, writer's again, block for a month. Cut, it's like he's cut out loads of mini interactions oh, yeah. that were built up and built up. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. I, his face, I just... I think it's just epic. <laughs> That's why they chose him for the Joker. Yeah. That must have been 1987. I knew someone was going to be there. Come and play with us. It's fucked, man. It's fucked. Come and play with us, Danny. Forever. And ever. I thought there was going to be a jump scare there. There's it's no, there's no release of tension. <laughs> I wish we could stay here ever, ever, ever. It's been like a month and a half. Yeah. Not long. Spent a month. I've spent two months in my room in lockdown. Didn't end up killing anyone. Yeah. Wow. Well. It wasn't the Overlook Hotel, was it? Yeah. That was even worse. 
<laughs> my parents' house. <laughs> Each scene is of equal, if not greater, tension. disturbing tension than the yeah. one before. Yeah. It's the maze like quality of the car. It's the kind of corridor that would go and extend and you could never get to the end of it in yeah. your dreams. <laughs> oh, it's giving me the shivers, man. Guess what room it is? Two three seven. God, if you, just you, come you, from nowhere. You jump you jump before I saw that. If I saw that I would have freaked out. Oh wait. Oh. That's even worse. Cut you up into little pieces. What the hell is that? It's a marker's what neck. neck. What happened to your neck? Huh? Right, everybody, we're getting in the car. We're getting out of here. <laughs> you did this to him. Didn't you? You son of a bitch! Did he, though? And was Definitely it not? not. I mean, he was asleep, Maybe... weren't he? Yeah, but was he? Maybe he, was in that, maybe he was in that room. He didn't see. Yeah. This music, man. Hi, Lloyd. A little slow tonight, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is, Mr. Torrance. Well... There's someone else in the hotel with us. There's a crazy woman in one of the rooms. She tried to strangle Danny. Are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> yeah. It's the truth, really. I swear it. Danny told me. This just strikes me as back when someone could make a film and just make what they wanted to make. Yeah. Like their vision as opposed to... Being generic. Never make this today. No. I guess unless you're that Harry Astor guy that makes... <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> What? <laughs> oh, f***ing hell. <laughs> oh, that's disturbing, man. That's... What the... Her rising out of the bathtub like that. Yeah, there's just this relentless haunting like <sighs> realism but then that there was that heartbeat must have been going for like yeah. 10 minutes I reckon yeah. in the background yeah and you didn't see anything at all only a rotting dead enough. body in there get him out of here you mean just leave the hotel It is so fucking typical of you to create a problem like this when I finally have a chance to accomplish something. I have let you fuck up my life so far, but I am not gonna let you fuck this up. Ooh. This is everyone in lockdown when they have to go back to work. <laughs> <laughs> they get so used to cabin fever, they can't think of the idea of living on the outside world anymore. <laughs> I need some daylight. I need some daylight in this film already. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This reminds me of that episode of It's Always Sunny, Mac and Dennis move to the suburbs. suburbs yeah. <laughs> I feel like that plays on this guy. Mr. Grady, <clears throat> haven't I seen you somewhere before? What is that? I don't believe so. Wait, haven't even, we haven't even seen his face yet, have we? Have we even seen no. his face yet? No. It's just always been to the back. That's weird, isn't it? <clears throat> Mr. Grady, 
Weren't you once the caretaker here? Why no, sir. I don't believe so. I have a wife and uh, two daughters, sir. Oh. What was a stained red? Hmm. Chopped your wife and daughter up into little bits. Must have been done on purpose for that exact reason. And you blew your brains out. But you are the caretaker. Ooh. You've always been the caretaker. Did you know, Mr. Torrance, that your son is attempting to bring an outside party into this situation? These must be ghosts of people from like the, the 20s and 30s and stuff. That's where the old music was. Well, he's a caretaker that died a couple yeah. of, a few years ago. But how does these ghosts know this and they're telling him? They've got one foot in the real world, haven't they? It's weird. Yeah. My girls, uh, they didn't care for the overlook at first. One of them actually stole a pack of matches and tried to burn it down. But I corrected them, sir. And when my wife tried to prevent me from doing my duty, I corrected her. This is my favorite scene of all time. In this film. And pro probably any other film. Any like, film? Well, well, I don't know, but it's a good film. <laughs> He's just been writing that the whole time. The entire time. That is so... And there's no copy and paste in mate. It's a fucking typewriter. It's so bad. That is so messed up. So he's been sick for a while. How do you like it? <laughs> Music, mate. What is that? How do you like it? What do you want to talk about? How would you go about talking to someone that's written done that? You would just be. <laughs> when do you think maybe he should be taken to a doctor? As soon as possible. As soon as possible. Her acting is so unreal. And so real that it's, might be at stake. Oh, no, it's actually unsettling. Oh, Dick, what are you talking about? Have you ever had a single moment's thought about my responsibilities? Have you ever thought for a single solitary moment about my responsibilities to my employers? I'm not gonna hurt you. Stay away from me! Wendy? Stay away! Darling, light of my life. I'm not gonna hurt you. You didn't let me finish my sentence. I said, I'm not going to hurt you. I'm just going to bash your brains in. I'm going to bash them right the fuck in. <laughs> <laughs> this is the scene they had to do 200 and what odd times. It's like sticking out his tongue and shit. It's insane. And that concludes the best scene ever put to screen, in my opinion. <laughs> oh, I loved every minute of that. Hey. Hey, where am I? Baby. I think you hurt my head real bad. I'm gonna go. You've got a big surprise coming to you. <laughs> You're not going anywhere. Oh, check it out! <laughs> Go check it out. <laughs> what do you do in that situation? Radio's gone. Thing is gone. You, you you wait it out. 
you. Oh. What would you do? You, yeah. you, she's locked him in a in the food storage area as well. Because she thought she was gonna. You'd have to open it up and just wave the <laughs> knife, right? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah. No. I thought the, I thought the uh, cook, yeah, not good. I thought the cook came back. But not good. I just have no idea how this is going to end at all. You were saying? <laughs> oh. <laughs> That camera move is doing like quick. You can't beat that guy with the axe. So shove the kid through there and jump. And just. Wendy, stick. I'm home. What would you do? Here's Johnny! There's no stationary shots. That's it. Really, is there? Well, they were at the very beginning, but lately it's been. It's like a chant. What the? What the? Fuck. I don't remember that. What the fuck was that? That shot was cool. Well, I thought what was going to happen is the cook was going to rescue him after the mum died. Danny! I don't know why I jumped there. <laughs> Oh, what the... Great party, isn't it? It's starting to see everything. Are they just starting to come out? Yeah. Yeah, good one, mate. Stuck in the maze. Nineteen twenty one, I told you it. Gives in the bottom. Is that the bottom? Is that here? Yeah. to process that just a little bit <laughs> right I want to hear what you have to say I've seen this film already like I've previously I, um, said so what's your verdict why did you have to show me this film <laughs> why <laughs> this I don't, I don't th you know we watch horror films and they're not scary often are they like they can be entertaining they can be they can make you jump they can make it can make you 
tense and they can put you on edge. There's only a few this that film, makes you scared. This film got to me. Yeah. Like, especially by the end of the film. I don't think I've ever been this affected by an ending of a film since... <laughs> it's quite an eerie ending, maybe, isn't it? Since maybe Midsommar or The Babadook or something like that. It's an eerie in ending. Terms of... So what, what's your rating? What's your verdict? I've been thinking about it. I'm going to give it a... I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Wow. Which puts it in my top spot. All right. Because for me, First it's, nine. it's definitely better than The Exorcist. And I can't even say I was less entertained watching this than when I watched Evil Dead 2. It's, it's, it's ve- a different kind of entertainment, isn't it? It's very interesting to say that before this film, I got you on footage saying that you don't think it, you would rate it probably an 8. Uh, and uh, you didn't think it was going to be better than Evil Dead or The Exorcist. Is that what I said? Yeah, <laughs> you, you said it. I, I can't oh, see it man, being better just, than The Exorcist. This is a f- uh, it hasn't negatively affected me watching this film, but I'm just thinking, like, I kind of have questions about it, but then I'm also happy with my own explanations as to what happened. All right, in the film. we'll get into that. We'll get into Nine that. Nine out of ten, mate. Nine out of ten. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because... Um, all the all the all the films that I love and I've showed you, uh, even though I I am so such a hardcore fan of those films, you rate them higher. <laughs> really? Yeah. So, so you rate so I rate Evil home. Dead. You were eight point five. I was uh, eight. Um, and and Shining, you wrote, rated at nine. Uh, I'm gonna rate this an eight point seven. So really does high. That, eight. Does that make it your highest as well? It does make it my highest. Yeah. Yeah. It's my first nine. Yeah, Obviously, right. if I was to give it a, a, say, a star rating, which we don't really like, do we? I'd give it five stars. There's just this, like, relentless, haunting atmosphere yeah, to eerie. the entire film. Yeah. You know, if we're rating a film without even thinking about as a film, if we're just thinking about horror films, yeah, then it's pretty masterful in how it creates tension constantly. I mean, I did say a similar sort of thing about Halloween, but this is different. I would say I was tense and suspenseful when I watched Halloween, but when I watch this, I'm almost haunted. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's um, got it's the atmosphere, the the way it makes you feel, uh, in each scene. It's like so uneasy. I tell you, yeah, how I feel. Yeah. Like claustrophobic. Yeah. I feel claustrophobic after watching this film <laughs> throughout, and that's achieved in lots of different ways. The music is relentless. Oh my god! It's absolutely relentless. Yeah. There's no theme to it, no. But it's they've experimented so much yeah. with the variety of different uh, uh, tones and and different th- um, uh, sounds and instruments. It's and I couldn't even I couldn't even tell you what's where really in the film. There's those screeches that happen. Yeah. It had that crackling, ticking it's that kind of um, noise. It's, it's almost weird. like uh, you know in Shutter Island when he, when she describes his wife describes. Uh, that there's a um, an insect uh, tapping yeah. on a skull. Yeah. It's almost yeah. like that. Um, Very real acting and, and reaction, especially from her. You know, I, when but however, when I watch this movie, I don't. Obviously, I, I think that she's a, done an amazing performance, but he just steals the show. You know, I, I differ from you here. Yeah, yeah, I knew you would. I don't think he's the best part of the film. Um, I think he's just a byproduct of the atmosphere yeah. that is created in the whole film. Yeah, he's not the scariest thing. No. I think he's a good actor in no. the film. It's the co- um, it's the idea that right? that yeah. he's he's being manipulated by dead people. Yeah, that's the weird thing that I that really puts me on edge. As I said, he's sort of, of a byproduct of the haunting. For me, the villain of the piece is, or the most haunting thing of the piece is the Overlook Hotel. Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Especially with that ending, it's as if yeah, the I mean, it's as if the hotel. Took his soul for its that's for itself. What it is, isn't yeah, it? yeah, that's yeah. what it is. It's like a weird, and that's the claustrophobia. That's the entrapment of the isolation yeah. that you feel. It's like, almost as if you're being taken like he by that is. Place as well. He is part of the Overlook Hotel now. There's no yeah. escape in it. That, and he's, that the, is the he's the history part. of, that is of the it. Yeah. Part. Yeah. The fact that he's almost been taken is swallowed into the history. Mm. I'm just. I'm wondering whether or not, in the book, Stephen King like fleshes out the mythology a little bit more. I feel like the idea of the actual shining yeah. 
may be fleshed out more in the books. Maybe we'll, I'm wrong. We'll, maybe, have, to, maybe we'll have to read it. But or you'll have to read it and tell me. <laughs> I kind of want answer is who the hell is this Toby guy? Telling him what's what. But maybe then, maybe that's how he um, uh, solidifies the shining into something that makes sense for the kid, into a being that tells yeah, him rather where than is it actually he doesn't he, he things. yeah he doesn't know where these thoughts and stuff yeah. are coming from he so he's created this thing yeah as that, kids do like yeah. as an imaginary friend yeah, yeah that's, I mean I guess the child isn't a reliable narrator in that sense right Maybe, so. we'll have to what I'm. I so wanted to watch Doctor Sleep, in the, in the, in the, which is the sequel to this film. Yeah. How does this compare to like other Stephen King adaptations like It? Um, I like the original Tim Curry It. Do you I like prefer it. the sequels? Yeah. Uh, again, Stephen King in his writing, he, I've said it before, but he always has that unnerving element to the story. Have you seen The Mist? I haven't seen The Mist. I've seen Carrie. I've seen Cujo. I've seen... Um, I can't believe you haven't seen The Mist. Christine, I haven't seen The Stand. I've seen The Shawshank Redemption, which is obviously really good, and The Green Mile, which again is amazing. Oh, but you see, I mean, again, Green it's in The Green Mile, isn't it? There's that always unnerving, unexplained yeah. aspect to the story. Supernatural. I think he leaves up to us to explain whether or not it is supernatural. And again, we could be completely talking out of our, out of our asses because the book could be completely different to this film. And what we're saying could be totally unrelated to the actual concept or storyline to the book. So please, no angry comments. Uh, In fact, give us angry comments. Say, <laughs> I can't believe you're asking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll we'll find out what's different, um, whether that's reading the book or just researching it. The whole the waterfall of blood is everywhere. It's not just the girls or the family. Yeah, it's, it's, it's every. It's the history. It's been, everything that's happened there. It, that's what it is. But it could, yeah, it could either be uh, all of the lies the Overlook Hotel has mm. has has um, has taken over time. But it could also represent the Overlook Hotel itself and the fact that it's a living, breathing yeah. thing. Yeah. Just going back to what you said about um, Jack Nicholson's character. About how there's almost this destined fate that he has. Yeah, it's all yeah. The whole film, technically, is almost like an inevitability. Like, all of the tracking shots, it's like a journey that are leading you oh, to one God, point. Yeah. And it's just, I just kind of, I know I've mentioned it already when I was watching the film, but all of these tracking shots that just follow the character from front, from behind, the staircase scene, man, as well. Oh, favourite scene of all time. Could you so All of the things yeah. that he was yeah. doing, I just wonder how many things did he do? They must have done hundreds of... Yeah, well, I think that that, that, that scene took a, over like 200 mm. takes or something like that. The, the woman, the wife, is the best actress in the film, the best actor in the film. She, she was brilliant in this. Mm. I just... And to be fair, the scenes, my favourite scene wouldn't be my favourite scene without her, her acting it. I think they both played I mean, off well together. What didn't you like about this film? I mean, this is the thing, this is why I'm giving it a nine, because there's so, so much little. I like, so little I don't like. The one thing that I would say is, first of all, I love the track and shots, and I love the fact that Leo Kubrick takes his time with the film. However, that being said, I do think the film could have been at least 10 to 15 minutes shorter i think it could be cut down there was some scenes um that didn't necessarily need to be in there it could have done without but it's it's all it's all opinion based is, i guess i'd hesitate to do that just because of the claustrophobic feel that i've got from watching it i guess it yeah tampering with it i guess could run the risk of of ruining it completely i guess who knows but i'm hoping I mean, i'm i'm hoping i know that uh in the past, you haven't trust me when I've picked out films, especially with like in Bruges. So you're saying, yeah, you need to trust me nowadays, so in mate. Future. So, so you in Bruges, yeah, I did see Evil Dead, I, actually, The Shining. I was, I was wanting to watch The Evil Dead. Yeah, I did really fancy. I did really was really getting into that. Admittedly, The Exorcist. I didn't. I had the same res reservations yeah. as this. It's because it's a classic. And yeah. if people, and if it's yeah. a classic, and people there's a reason why it's a classic. Yeah. I'm glad we watched this film, Matt. <laughs> I'm so glad we watched this yeah, film, Matt. Yeah, because, yeah, like, yeah. out of our ten horror films, because... St I'm, end I'm of strong, end break. of strong. I need a break from this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what, what do we do after these ten films? Do we do more horror, or do we go straight into, like, foreign films or some shit? I don't know. I need a break, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what did you think about the... Uh, the Shining, what would you rate it? Would you go as far as 9 out of 10? Would you read it in a little bit? Do you think it was better than The Exorcist? I um, don't feel like I can ever watch The Shining again. 
is one of those films. <laughs> yeah. Sort of those films. Yeah. I wouldn't watch it. I... IMDb, 8.4. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't watch it by myself. I'll be interested to know if anybody has any negatives about the film. Oh yeah, D who hates? And I think I, I would think that the most the hate comments will probably be related to it's not the same as the book. The book's much better. Anyway, cinema rules. Cinema and rules. The shiny rules. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So subscribe, like, give it a like, uh, give it a share. Uh, let us know what your rating is and we'll see you in the next video. Who knows what that video will be. It's my turn. It's your turn. Wait, I'm are you going to start off a new... Uh, well, we'll new... see, we'll see.